Good morning, Bobcat teachers and scholars. Welcome to another day of teaching and learning. Let's remember that every student counts, and let's make sure that every moment matters today. Let's get started with our morning announcements. Good morning, City Hills Elementary students and staff. Please, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Bobcat Affirmation. Bobcat information. Bobcats are powerful. I think positively. I take ownership for my actions. I make wise choices. I'm excited about new learning. I will reach my goals. I forgive others and myself. I am understanding of differences. I am a leader. I am a Bobcat. All right, scholars, in our school-wide events and activities, I want to talk to you about our next Bobcat Bonanza. Our next Bobcat Bonanza will take place on next Thursday, April the 6th. In order to be eligible, you must have four behavior tallies or less, and you must not have visited the school counselor, district behavior specialist, or the office for misbehavior. I hope that you have been following the 3R approach. In our student spotlight, today we are celebrating scholars who were caught being Bobcat strong. On yesterday, there were, let me see, one, two, Three of our Bobcat scholars were featured in an article in the Daily Memphian, which talked about our food audit. You know that food audit that we did last week in the cafeteria? Well, we had some very special Bobcats who were featured in the articles. If you look in the first picture to your left, you will see Miss Zoe Morton and Miss Imani Lacey being featured in that first picture. If you look at the second Daily Memphian picture, you will see that it also features Imani, but if you look closely, you will see Javon McThune in the picture as well. Look at those bobcats showing their bobcat pride and doing the work. We couldn't be prouder of these three scholars who were featured along with every other grade four scholar who helped with our Clean Memphis food audit on last week. And as if that wasn't enough about having our Bobcats in the news, not only were our Bobcats in the newspaper, but our grade five scholar, Miss Alani Bradford, was featured at the M 
SCS board meeting on last night. This board meeting was streamed live on multiple platforms so that people across the nation could watch Alani deliver her award-winning speech week. We, there are just no words to show how proud we are of each of our scholars for always showing that they're Bobcat strong, showing their Bobcat pride, and their Bobcat brilliance so that the world can see it. In today's Classroom Spotlight, we are shining a light on some of our grade K scholars specifically our scholars in Miss Ma's class. These scholars were caught being respectful, responsible, and especially ready during math instruction on yesterday. Scholars, they were thinking at high levels as they were decomposing those numbers. And when I got ready to leave, they started working a math word problem together with their teacher breaking it down on their whiteboards this is phenomenal work we are so excited when we are able to see our scholars working hard and building their brilliance and that's exactly what we saw yesterday in miss Ma's class i can't wait to come around today to see what you are learning in your class Teachers, this is just a reminder that today is the last day for our school to be in the running to reach 100% on the digital citizenship course. According to our online platform, Power BI, we still have 14 students, only 14 students, who are keeping us from being at 100%. We are currently at 95% completion. That's just 5% of our scholars. That's exactly 14 scholars who are keeping us from reaching our 100% goal. Teachers, let's do a final push. A final push. The list of students who needed to complete the course can be found in Group Me in the message that was sent out on yesterday morning. In our next announcement, scholars, Will you be eligible to attend the registration bash? In order to do so, you must be registered, registered for next school year. If your parents have not registered you for next school year, we will have a station at tonight's STEM meeting. In addition to your parents being able to register you tonight. Your parents will also be able to talk to your teachers as you will be getting you'll be getting your report cards on today. Today we will also have our fire drill today. We should have our fire drill around this morning, but if not, we'll have it. Uh, after the lunch break before we leave to day or first thing tomorrow morning. Scholars, remember, we are having our STEM family data night today at 430. Your parents will be able to come to the school. We will have stations for registration. We will have stations for STEM. We will have stations for uh, parents to talk to teachers about all of your data that's your i ready data your mastery connect data your report card data your behavior data and your attendance data tonight so come on out so that we can have a little fun together and your parents can hear about the great things that you are doing at school each day we don't have any birthdays today, but tomorrow, maybe we'll have a birthday or two. See you soon. In our second spotlighted 
student segment today, we are shining a light on one of our pre-K scholars, Miss Mila Brooks. Mila was caught building her brilliance. Listen to this. scholars it is time for our hard facts now we are going to mix it up today we have been doing multiplication facts but today you must be ready today we will be doing addition subtraction and multiplication facts so make sure you are paying close attention are you ready let's get started all right scholars are you ready just a reminder that you have three seconds and three seconds only to answer these addition, subtraction, and multiplication facts. Pay close attention. Let's go. 43 plus 53. 96. Did you use our strategy of counting on? Or did you... Add your ones column and your tens column. There's so many different ways that you could have quickly added these numbers together. Whichever strategy you choose, scholars, make sure that you check your work. 690 plus 203. 893. Remember, scholars, when you are adding large numbers, it's important that you do these things one column at a time. In our ones column, we have 0 plus 3, which is 3. In our tens column, we have 9 plus 0, which is 9. And in our hundreds column, we have 6 plus 2, which is 8, and gives us a total of 893. Congratulations, scholars. You have completed another day of our hard facts. Remember that you should be reviewing your nine multiplication facts. 90 times zero. Zero. Did you remember that rule? We've been talking about it all week. I know you did. But why? Because you are working hard and studying to build your brilliance. National holidays. Today is Niagara Falls Run Dry Day. Have you or a family member ever visited Niagara Falls? Well, this national holiday actually commemorates the time, the day, which was on March 29, 1848, when the waterfall stopped running. There was no water. Why, you ask? Because there was a very hard, harsh, bitterly cold winter, and it actually froze ice on Lake Erie, 
And when the lake froze, big chunks of ice broke away and blocked the entrance to Niagara Falls. And for 30 hours, the water didn't run at all. People were able to walk across the Niagara Falls. Now, it's okay if you've never been to Niagara Falls because Miss White is bringing Niagara Falls to you. As one of your bonus videos today, we will all take a virtual trip to Niagara Falls. Now, as you watch the virtual trip of Niagara Falls, think about what it would have been like for the water to stop running, for you to be able to walk across the bottom of Niagara Falls. Because that is exactly what some people did when it ran dry. They they just took, they lighted uh, some torches uh, because it was back in the 1800s. They didn't really have flashlights and things like we have now. So they actually lit a torch and they went uh, at night because they found that it was still not running. The ice was still blocking the entryway for the water. And they walked across the bottom of the falls. So today, teachers, please make sure that you allow time for students to take this short virtual field trip. And our last student spotlight for today. Today, we are spotlighting our scholars who served as our safety specialists and our office helpers on yesterday. Look closely at the screen. We had second and third graders to serve in both of these areas on yesterday. Thank you for being caught lending a helping hand. Today's read aloud is entitled, Help Wanted Must Love Books. Teachers, our read aloud for today is exactly seven minutes long. In addition to our read aloud, we have three bonus videos. The first talks about whether or not you make excuses or own your action, scholars. Today, we will be watching Stop Making Excuses and Own Your Actions. Teachers, this video is four minutes and 23 seconds. We want to make sure that scholars learn to own up to their part in any type of disagreement. So please allow time for scholars to watch this video and consider having a discussion with students about uh, learning to take responsibility for their part in any disagreement. Our second bonus video is on Niagara Falls. This video is teachers right at six minutes long. Please um, add this virtual field trip to your science instruction for today. And lastly, for our grades three through five, we have a lines and angles song, a lines and angles song. So, Teachers in grades three through five, scholars do not have to watch the entire line and angles song, but it does review all of the geometry skills that our scholars need to remember for their TCAP test, the TCAP test that they will take in about 12 days. So we want to make sure that we are setting our students up for success. It has been a long time since we have taught some of these skills and we want to make sure that we are able to refresh scholars memories. Teachers remember you can also add these to your teacher page uh, in Clever and then students will be able to watch these on their own when we do small group instruction. Now, scholars, remember today and every day is a great day for you to follow the 3R approach. And remember, 
that we come to school to build our brilliance. Remember, every day we're building brilliant bobcats because we are raising the bar by believing in ourselves, achieving our goals, and reimagining our future. Together we must believe. Together we will achieve. Together we are real magic. Nine no one can help us. Hacks to stay a teaching and learning. Yay!